So we've got our enemies and their placed and whatnot, and we've seen a lot with Corgi Engine, so let's play around with some of these other assets. So the next thing I want to do is I want to play around with some lights. All right, uh, so lights in 2D are kind of odd. Mostly sprites are not set up for light to begin with, right? Sprites generally don't use lights, but they could. Uh, so one of the things we can do is we can play around with these uh, 2D DL lights, basically. And so I'm gonna add a couple here just to play around with them. And I'm also gonna look at another cool way we could use these. So in my hierarchy, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to 2D DL Pro then lights, and I'm gonna add a radial texturized additive. All right, that's just gonna add a light here in my scene. There it is, big red 2D light, which is kind of cool. And I'm just gonna put this over here, like where this light is for my ship. You'll also notice that it's gonna cast some shadows. This is a spawn point that has just a cube collider, which is why it's doing that. Right, and so I could leave that, but I'll be playing around with that. But I'm gonna put this kind of right on the ship where that little red light would be there and obviously it's it's very bright and very big and it's not quite working with the level just yet so i'm going to come down here and play with uh some of its settings so for the radius i don't need to be 20 i'm going to set that to like seven seven's a good radius there and for the layer the layer determines what can block it so i could do like everything and then all colliders block the light in some way and well, i don't really want to do that um i could do nothing which is what i'm going to do and then nothing blocks this particular light but you'll notice the light, which is kind of on the front of the ship, appears behind everything. And that's because it has a sorting order it's set to negative one. So it's not sorting in front of these things. So I'm just going to increase that to say like five. If I do five, it appears not in front of this grass. So the light doesn't reach all the way to this grass. If I do higher than that, it lights up this grass as well. But I'll set that back to five. So it lights up everything, but doesn't make it all the way to this grass. So there we go. Now it's going to be in front of all that stuff. And it's still a bit bright, so I'll just drop my intensity down. I could animate the intensity or whatever, but I'll just leave it kind of like that's pretty good. All right. And so I've got this pretty cool light there. So now I'm going to make another one. So that's pretty simple, just a point light there. So I'm going to kind of make a spotlight now. So I'm going to go down uh, to my hierarchy and I'm going to right click Create 2D Pro. Instead of adding a spotlight, I'm actually going to add another radial texturized additive uh, because this has a lot of the settings that I just happen to like to start with. And I'll just place it up here. So this, I'm going to turn this sort of into a little spotlight section here. And I'm going to turn this into a spotlight. So I'm going to go to my radius and I'm going to set my radius to be 8. And for my angle, instead of 360, I'm going to set my angle to 35. And that makes it a spotlight. And for my Y value for rotation, not Y, for my Z value for rotation, forgot this was a 2D game, uh, I'll just set it to 180. And there we go, pointing down. So it's kind of red and it should be shining on this platform. I don't really want it shining past this platform. So there's some stuff I'm going to do. So for my layer... I'm going to set that to nothing for fir first, and then I'm going to set it to one-way platforms. And so now you'll see it becomes blocked by this platform. For my light color, I'm going to just not use red. I'll just use white for that. There we go. And my intensity, that's, that's pretty good. We can go with that. Now, something cool I could do, so that's just basic light stuff, but I can also, there's all these different modules. Like I could do fire, which makes these lights flicker as if they were a torch or fire, makes them feel a little bit more uh, living. Uh, then there's like lens flares and I could do some rotational stuff. So it like constantly rotates and whatever. I could do actual illumination. So it gets an actual light and casts actual light. I could do color blending, which is pretty neat. If I click that, I can come down here and let's say this is like a, a police siren light. I don't know. It's going to happen from uh, over one second, and I'll just hit play. And then if I come to my game view here, I can do um, oh, pop to back to scene view, run, and that changes the light. I'm sure why it went back to white there. Um, there we go, and you can just sort of sequence it and restore it and whatnot. Uh, probably because I set solid color white up here, which is probably why it replaced that there. And then my character died because I wasn't paying attention to the chopper. Other things I can do here, one of the cool ones is if I want to do like a look at and say, okay, what is this look at? Let me grab my chomper and say, you look at chomper. And there we go. And so now if I hit play, you'll see the light will be following chomper around. And once it gets past that platform, 
you know, uh, it starts casting that sort of shadow. So, um, which is kind of cool, right? So it, it comes over here and Chopper's coming back. So it's gonna start following it again. And these platforms are gonna cast a shadow, right? Which is pretty neat. One of the things I've, I noticed that I forgot to do is, you'll notice how it doesn't kind of cast on the platform. I need to increase its sorting order. So there we go. So now it's on the platform. And so it's some pretty cool stuff that we can do. Now, I'm not gonna keep the look at on. I'm actually gonna animate this a different way, but just kind of to show that there's all these modules that can do some neat stuff. One additional thing that, you know, I don't really have time to set it up here in this video, but I did want to show you. I'm gonna to go to my scenes folder, then I have this complete folder, and I'm gonna to go to this light finder scene real quick. And this light finder scene has kind of an odd setup where I've got a few different cameras and a spotlight here that I have the material depth mask material on. This is all part of 2D DL Pro. And let's see what that does. And so I'm just gonna run over here. And if we'll look, we can actually set these lights up to be revealers, right? These masks which is pretty cool, all right? And uh, I'll actually come down here. I've got this other during my, or over by my boiling pit of acid. And you might think, okay, well, how do I get across? Well, I have a special finder light that says, oh, hey, look, there is a platform there. Didn't know. So pretty cool stuff. And then, Hidden, visible, hidden, visible. So pretty neat stuff. And you can do that with 2D DL Pro too. And uh, this is pretty straightforward setup. So some pretty cool stuff. I wanted to be sure that I, I showed you guys that because it's pretty awesome. And let me hop back here to my other scene. All right. So I've got a couple lights and uh, my character's running around. I've got some enemies. And so now I'm going to play around with a little bit of the animation. But before I do that, again, I'm going to check uh, chat here, see if there's any questions. Is it possible to put a spotlight on a Goomba? Yes, but no one should wield that much power. Yeah, I, I could just parent this light to the Goomba. All right, fine. You've convinced me I wasn't going to do it, but now the idea of it is just too fun. So light, chomper, where's my rotation? Chomper has spotlight eyes. There we go. What has science done? <laughs> Oh, I forgot it won't rotate because the sprite just gets flipped. So uh, he has a spotlight backside. I don't think that's what we meant uh, to do. But uh, anyway, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's what we can do uh, there.